So I did a video the other day where I was showing you how you can grow your money from just 9,000 rands to over 50 million rands if you just invest it yourself. So other people were asking me, where can we invest this money? So on today's video, I'll be telling you exactly where you can invest this money risk-free with guaranteed returns, meaning that you never run the risk of losing your money. So firstly, when picking the right account to be saving into, it's important to know there's two types of interest rates. There is the nominal interest rate and the effective interest rate. So the nominal interest rate, if they say that the nominal interest rate is 9%, so that 9% is what you are going to be getting every month if you are going to be withdrawing your money. So it will be that 9% divided by 12 months. So if every month you are taking the money that the interest that they are giving you, then that is your nominal interest rate. But if you are choosing to reinvest your interest, that is called the effective interest rate. So you'll notice that the effective interest rate is always higher than the nominal interest rate because of the effects of compounding. So on today's video, I'll be showing you the nominal interest rates that these various institutions are offering. So we are going to be looking into your tax-free savings account and then also your instant access account. So I would say that with the instant access account, it is quite good for your emergency savings because you don't want to be borrowing money from other people when you do have an emergency. You want to get access to it right away. So for your emergencies, you should be saving toward it, it in an instant access account where you do have access to your money within uh, 24 hours. And then there's also a fixed deposit account. So with your fixed deposit, it means that you are going to be locking in your money for a certain amount of time, whether a couple of years or just maybe even like six months or 12 months. But the disadvantage with locking in your money is that you won't be able to withdraw your money when you need it. And also, if you do notice that other institutions are offering a higher interest rate, you might not be able to take it up or to move your funds there where you can get better interest rate. But there's also something called a flexi fixed account, meaning that a certain portion of your fixed account, you can be able to withdraw it when you need it. But that would just mean that your interest rate is not going to be as high as a normal fixed account. And then there's also like your notice account. So if you find that maybe you feel like you are not disciplined enough to be keeping your money, you can look into a notice account where maybe it can be seven days notice, 32 days notice, meaning that if you want to withdraw the funds, you let the bank know today. And then in 32 days time, you are going to have the funds into your account so that you can be able to spend it. And then there's also something called um, a tracker account, cash invest tracker account. And most banks, they take it from uh, 100,000, meaning that you need to invest like 100,000 into it. And it's normally linked to the prime rate. So the first one that we are going to be looking at is the tax-free savings account. On your interest income, you are expected to be paying tax but a certain portion of it is exempt from tax, like 23,800, if you are still young, is exempt from tax. But anything above 23,800, you have to start paying taxes on it. So what they actually did in order to encourage savings is this tax-free account that you can be investing into but you can only invest up to 36,000 per annum or 500,000 for your lifetime. That's what you can only be investing in this tax-free account that is not going to be taxed. So whatever interest that you are going to be earning from it is not going to be taxed. So this is something that you should be prioritizing when you are thinking of saving or investing since it's like you are getting the benefit of free money since it's not going to be taxed. 
So if you look into the banks, the different banks that are offering this, the E-Standard Bank, the rate that they are offering for this one is between 7.33% and 8.03%. And then there's Investec, which is offering 8.71%. Then there's NetBank, that's offering between 8.5% and 8.85%. And then there's APSA, that's offering between 8.25% and nine point and nine percent and what makes these things different is the amount that you invest so if you are going to be investing like a higher amount into it then your interest is also going to be higher and it's also dependent on the length or the period in which you are investing so in this case if you want to be going with the tax-free savings account I would say that um, the likes of your net bank is quite good as well as uh, APSA. But as for Standard Bank, I find the rate to be quite lower. And then there is also the instant access account that you can be investing into. So instant access means that you will have money in that same day and also the good thing about the instant account is that you can be able to pay other accounts as well from it meaning that you can be able to use this account as your day-to-day -day kind of account where you are making payments while you are also still earning interest on the money that's in there so the e-standard bank called the pure save that is uh earning only interest of 5.8 percent which is the lowest and then there's also Capitec, you get between 3.2% and 7.15%. This is based on the amount of money that you have invested into this account. And then you also have APSA. In APSA, it's called the True Save, where you are earning 7.1%. And then you have the FNB Instant Access, where you are earning between 7.05 and 7.8%. You have the Investec Prime Saver, which gives you a fixed 8.05% uh, regardless of how much you've invested. And then you have the APSA account. It's called the APSA Depositor Plus, which starts from 15,000. So you need to have 15,000 saved in there. And then it's giving you between 7.2% and 8.5%. So it's actually quite higher than the, the APSA True Save. And then you also have the net bank just invest, which is between 7.05 to 8.75. So in this case, I would say the one with the highest um, interest income would be the net bank just invest, but it also depends on how much you've invested in there. So you want to be comparing. And then when it comes to the fixed deposit, so fixed deposit means that you are locking in your money. You are not going to take it until maturity. So some fixed deposits are like for six months, 12 months, um, uh, five years or whatever, depending on the period that you choose. So these are the interest rates when it comes to the fixed deposit. So with Capitec, they have like two different options for single deposit or multiple deposit. So multiple deposit means that you can still be able to put in money into that fixed deposit. So if it's multiple deposits, the interest is sitting at between 32 to 8.05 and like i've said these amounts are dependent on the term as well as also the amount that you have invested so the higher the amount that you invest the higher the interest rate becomes and also the longer the period the higher the interest rate becomes and then there's also standard bank with 6.56 to 8.76 percent invest tech with 8.4 percent to 9.07 percent FNB with 7.6% to 9.3%, APSA with 6.2% uh, to 9.35%, and then Capitec, this is the single deposit. So it means that you just put in one lump sum and then that's it. So the rate is 8.15 to 9.55%. So you can see that it's actually quite higher than the multiple deposit. So this can work if you just have like one lump sum that you just want to be putting in. And then time bank, it is um, 
Time Bank right now, what they are offering is 3 to 12 months fixed deposit, but their interest rate is between 7.92% to 9.53%. And then net bank is between 6.95% and 9.55%. African bank is between 8.42% to 9.94%. And then net bank, they also have like different rates for people who are below 55 and the senior citizens. So with the senior citizen for this um, uh, kind of investment account, which is for like 18 months, it's between 9.9% and 10.01%, which is quite high. And then with the notice account, the notice account, it means that you are going to be saving a notice. If you want your money, uh, you'll save a notice and then maybe you'll get it in seven days time or 32 days time. It depends what kind of notice you choose. So African bank, seven day notice is between 7.73%. And then the FNB seven day notice is between uh, 7.25% and 8.15%. Investec seven day notice is 8.4%. And then African Bank 32 day notice is 8.19%. And then FNB 32 day notice is 7.25% and 8.45%. And the Net Bank 32 day notice is between 6.95 and 8.80 which is quite higher the net bank one is quite higher than all of them but also these notice accounts if you can check with our first example the notice account carries a higher interest rate compared to your instant account but the one that comes with the highest interest rate is your fixed deposit if you are going to be fixing your money and then there's also the cash invest tracker so this is like for uh, investments which are above hundred thousand so if you have like hundred thousand to invest invest tech has something called the money fund tracker account and these ones are normally linked to the market conditions linked to the prime rate so if the prime does go up you will gain from that it means that your interest rate is going to become higher but if the interest uh, if the prime rate goes down it means that it is going to be lower so invest tech is 7.91 the fnb called the money maxim uh, maxima i think it's maximize or something or i forgot uh, i spelled it wrong it's uh, it's 8.25 percent and then standard bank the money market select is between 8.35 to 8.7 percent APSA the cash invest tracker it's between 8.9 percent and 9.05 percent so you can see in this case the highest is uh, APSA if you do have like 100,000 to be investing and then which one which bank offers the highest interest rate so there is time bank in time bank they have something called the goal save where if you are investing um you are investing money and you are going to do like over 10 transactions, meaning that you are going to put in like over deposit money, maybe over 10 times and you are going to be saving like a 10 day notice to get access to your funds. The interest rate now moves between 7% to 11%, which is higher than all these other interest rates that we have discussed in here. Where should you invest your funds? So it's really up to you where you want to invest your funds. But based on this exercise that I've done, the banks that are offering the highest interest rates is your net bank and your APSA. Um, Time Bank, uh, yes, it also does offer like a, a higher rate and also your African bank. But when it comes to Standard Bank, it seems like they are quite stingy when it comes to the interest income but when it comes to that other one which is from hundred thousand the interest rate is quite good but i advise you to do your own research and don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to the channel as well as to leave your comments